Hello, my name is Norm Ryder. I'm here at the legislature in Victoria on a hunger and liquid strike until WorkSafe deals with my claim for injury caused by electromagnetic radiation properly. That I've been struggling with them for five years to get them to deal with this matter appropriately and all they've succeeded in doing is making my claim more complex. They continue to refuse to acknowledge the science of electromagnetic radiation, radiation and the harm it can cause. Now, the level of radiation I received was a much more than what a cell phone gives off. If you compare it to a typical cell phone, I received, uh, if the cell phone was one ounce, I received about a 25 25 pound rock bouncing on my head in comparison. It's a tremendous difference, but for some reason, WorkSafe refuses to understand that. Now, when I've taken it the next step up to the Workers' Compensation Appeal Tribunal Board, or WCAT, they claim they cannot correct incorrect information that WorkSafe puts into a person's file, which makes me wonder what the purpose of WCAT is. They also are supposed to be an independent tribunal from WorkSafe, but they receive all their funding from WorkSafe. WorkSafe is their main hiring agency for new employees for them, and they receive their entire workload from WorkSafe. That I find it very difficult to call them an independent tribunal under those circumstances that they're obviously part of WorkSafe. Was the Workers' Compensation Appeal Tribunal or WCAT? Okay. Now they are provincial. They are a provincial tribunal. They are supposedly independent from WorkSafe, right. except they receive all their funding. All their justification work for work comes from WorkSafe, if you want to, the yeah. appeals. Uh, WorkSafe does the, mo the prime advertising for to fill job vacancies with them. Yeah. And they report to the WorkSafe or the WCB board of directors. But they're supposed to be independent. They, they are an independent tribunal yeah. getting their money from, from WorkSafe. At all their job. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're confused with that one, are you? Yeah, well, I just, yeah, I was trying to differentiate. Is there actually, is there a difference between the two? But uh, I guess they seem to think that, that they had, had to set up some kind of a tribunal to make, make it appear that there was. Well, it, it's, it's one of their pseudo yeah. independent. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, the vice chair or judge that did the reconsideration is the same one that did the initial appeal on me. Right. So, of she has to rule on her own ruling. Of course she comes up and she says that she didn't make a mistake. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of becomes a bit of a joke. <laughs> Except it's a bad joke. Wow. So, Norm, has there any been any response from the Ministry of Health uh, in regards to your case? Not the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Jobs, whatever responsible for okay. labor, or as I call it, irresponsible for labor. Right. But the Assistant Deputy Minister, Trevor Hughes, has said he refuses to come and talk to me about any of the issues that he does have the, or work safe and he had the authority to reopen my case if they feel like it, but they claim they, can, they can't reopen it because of rules, but they can reopen a case to take somebody's benefits away so they can reopen my case to look at it as well as that stick goes both ways. And so far he's continuing to refuse to show up. And so that's one of the reasons why you're here today is to ask them to reopen your case and to re-examine your case. Well really, I shall we say, I'm not asking them to accept my case, I'm asking them to look at it on the facts. Right. And they have consistently, all the way through, refused to look at the facts. Okay. The states have ex 
accepted it. At least one radiation claim it was in Alaska. It was a military worker in a radar station and he got zapped. And it, it took him a long dabble too, but he did get compensation in the end. So, as I say, even the states are acknowledging in some cases large doses. Now, the small doses are a different discussion, but when it's over the safety standards, it's over the safety standards. You shouldn't have to prove this anything more than there's an association and that's what caused it. Well, we'll see if this gets any media coverage. Will Will CTV cover it, owned by Bell Media, uh -huh. which also owns Bell Mobility and you know half the cell phones <laughs> in the country, and is uh, giving you know I mean is is dosing everybody with radiation all the time? I mean, are they gonna is Have CTV you gonna cover any this? Kind of a, like even a press release through Bridge News services or anything um, like that? Well, I, I did send out a press release to before I started to a yeah. lot of the media. Yeah. And yes, Bell Media or CTV yeah. got it as well. Um, yeah, so far no response. But, you know, they can keep hiding this for years and years. Yeah. There, it's it's going to come out. And when it comes out, it's going to be a lot bigger a problem than it is today. If they don't care. It's only a problem for all the people who get sick. No, it's going to be a big financial problem for them in the end. You, you, you just, I mean, the cigarette smoking is a good example of, they tried to keep that down for years and it's just, I mean, even the provinces are fighting lawsuits about yeah. the companies. So it's, it's going to happen in time.